it's likely that we could make an entire video series just on dealing with your audience. We're going to focus on only the key aspects of understanding your audience and how that can inform your technical writing. First of all, why do we even consider the audience? Well, if you're writing a document, you have to consider that multiple people might read it. There might be your supervisor, who might be an extremely talented, very skilled engineer. But what about management? Management may not be engineers, but they might be. They may not have technical skills, but they certainly understand where the project is going and what the business needs from it. What about someone who's new to the team? Understanding how all of these people will read and interact with your document allows you to decide what should go in and what should go out. We're going to talk about four fundamental types of audience. The first is the non-technical expert. This would be someone who hasn't gone through an engineering degree, but is otherwise an expert in the field or understands exactly why the project exists. For example, management. The next is a technical expert. This might be an engineer. It could even be one of your colleagues, someone working closely with the project in the nitty-gritty technical details. The non-technical non-expert will be considered last. They are someone who is very new to the field and new to the business. As an example, you might consider a user, someone who's commissioned this technology to exist. They don't really understand the project very well because they didn't work on creating it. Finally, the technical non-expert. The technical non-expert is someone who is, for example, joining the team. They might have extensive technical background, but not in this particular project that you're writing the report or the other document for. Dealing with non-technical experts in your technical writing basically means you have to understand what they know and what they don't. A non-technical expert would know all about the project. They may have even commissioned the report. They might be the CEO of the company. So they understand fully why the document exists and they understand that they need to use that document to make a decision. As an example, an executive in a company might commission a report on how a new project is progressing. That report might include a significant amount of technical detail, but they're not going to read that. They're going to look at your recommendations. What should we do at this stage of the project? What they don't know is technical terms and technical skills. That means one of two things. Either they're going to completely skip all the sections that include technical terms and technical skills, or they're going to require extensive background information. When writing a document for a non-technical expert, there are important things you need to put in, one of which is a summary. That summary should tell them, if you don't read anything else, here's what you need to do from this document. The other is a background section. If they intend to dive in, they need to know this background before they can proceed. A technical expert is an engineer, someone who is well-trained, understands the project, and understands all the technical skills they need. They're interested in hard numbers. A very common reason that a technical expert might review a document is to make sure all of the claims and experiments or other data make sense before passing it on to management. They're looking for errors. They're looking to make sure that your document is written extremely well. They probably won't read a background section, and they may even skip over an introductory section. They'll go right into the details of a technical report, specifically what kinds of computers are being used, how much will it cost, what kinds of measurements are made, and where is the data. Those are the things you have to tell a technical expert. They may not fully understand what decisions have to be made by this report and they may not understand the business reasons provided that you're working in a business. As a result, they might skip things like the introduction, maybe even the conclusions. They're not looking at that. They're looking at the technical data. A technical non-expert. These people might be new to the team, or they might be, for example, someone moving up in the company. These people would have some technical skills and understand some technical terms but they might not have an understanding of the project as a whole, and they may be missing certain gaps in their technical knowledge. They're probably interested in understanding all of the data, just like a technical expert, but they're going to need an extra background section to help them to better understand the project and maybe to fill in the gaps in their technical understanding. 
Non-technical non-experts don't get a table of what they know and what they don't know. You basically assume that this person doesn't know much about the project or the technology. A good example here would be the users. If I buy a computer, I don't really need to know how it works. I need to know I plug it in, and I certainly need to know how to turn it on and access the internet, but I don't need to know the nitty-gritty details of how my RAM and my CPU and all of that work together. Typically, they're not going to read internal organization documents. They're not going to be the ones better understanding whether you use copper or gold for the conductor. But they will read instructions and manuals. Think of the non-technical non-expert as someone who has to be taught. Your technical communication to them should take on the role of teaching material. Instruction manuals are important. Large background sections, guiding them through understanding the technology. So now that we understand a little bit more about audience, whenever you're writing, think about who might be reading this. It will help you to understand whether you should leave something in or take it out. For instance, if you know that your document will only ever be read by your immediate supervisor who is an engineer, there's very little reason to add extra background describing the technical details of the project. On the other hand, if that document is going to be distributed far and wide throughout your organization, including background, conclusions, introductions, and things that allow someone not familiar with the project, or maybe even non-technical, to understand the document are important. Finally, if it's being written for a user, you probably don't want to include a huge amount of details. You want to include things that help them to actually use the product, and you want to leave out things that are interesting but not relevant to that goal.